Do you guys know what the drama is about? It's about EPIC! Eh? EPIC! 7 Community is on fire! Ooh, because of this girl right here. Uh, I mean the late, this woman. This woman right here. So her name is uh, Nak Wall. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So apparently, uh, this character causes some controversy in Epic 7. I've been hearing a lot of things that everybody was writing on Discord. People were unhappy. Uh, okay, first things first. To verify this, let's go to Epic 7 Reddit, alright? Just to clarify. <laughs> so this is the... Uh, is there a soul alive that let's see, let's see. Let's look at the preview. I hope to pass through life like that breeze. Epic 7 don't have JP voice acting in it. Is to meet your demise. But the English VA is very good. So that's the character. Nagwal was a traveling monk. Nakwa. Dedicated to sealing away the increasingly frequent demon incursions that had been plagued. Wow. Now. In her youth. I mean that is Nagwa pretty for sure, right? Come on. That's like you can hit the game or whatever, but that L2D and that um what is that? The the how they do the animation for the ultimate. That's pretty cool for sure. Alright, so let's have a look at Epic 7 community. Uh so Nakwal art. Some cards. I'm just curious if there's anybody. Okay, maybe the mods here will remove it if they talk too much. You know? <laughs> they were too negative. Some character can still act before Nakwa S3. Uh, the solution is obvious. <coughs> what a lovely day on Epic. Hero balance adjustment. Okay, so there's some memes going on about the character. Uh, let's see. I'm just curious what are the overall uh like I don't see like a lot of negativity here. I guess there are some, but I don't see a lot of it. We were deceived. I mean there are some memes going on and stuff. Was the initial reaction to Nak Nakwal blown out of proportion? TLDR Lua is still more broken. Every content creator, streamer, and PvP enthusiast declared Nakwal to be the most broken unit in the game and marked the end of Epic 7 PvP due to her overloaded kit. Okay. Okay, this guy is saying no, this character is not broken, right? So the okay, uh let some of you guys might be out of the loop. The drama is apparently this girl is very broken that she breaks the game, right? So let's see if I can read what people have to say. So this is the skill. Now again, I don't play Epic 7 or I used to play but uh, haven't been catching up and stuff. So let's read this essay. Essay. So Epic 7 decided out of nowhere, release the new unit. Okay. After two already broken limited units. ML5 broken unit and 3 collab reruns. Oh yeah, recently they have like the rerun, right? Recently they have the... What was it? Guilty Gear and... Was it ReZero? Like rerun of the collab? And I was like, oh, they got two... Uh, two collabs at the same time. Uh, collab reruns, right? Another limited unit in the span of 2 months. Smilegate out of nowhere releases unit that does what the permanently banned unit previously did but better. Okay, so just after the Epic 7 World Championship added and that one unit had 100% win ratio, if she wasn't banned, they made even worse version of her. Of course out of nowhere because they haven't showed unit kit until her banner is up, which is today. Isn't it always like that? Like, or is it like they have a roadmap and stuff to know what characters are coming? Huh. <clears throat> this is not the worst part. Epic 7 community is really pissed off about that thing. To those that don't play the game, this unit basically stops enemy from playing the game. It completely shuts down any team and there's no cleansing it. Usually debuffs had counterplay of cleansers or high effect resistance but this unit has a skill that ignores enemy effect resistance 
that puts enemy skills on cooldown and then apply new debuff that stops enemy from triggering any often effects so there is no counter to it sounds kind of broken okay sounds kind of broken but i'm sure they would like eventually have counters right uh the only way to resist it uh that is to randomly is to randomly resist it for 15 percent is it game has a mechanic that any debuff can be randomly resisted with 15 percent chance okay her ultimate gives her extra turn so she can use her other broken skill and seal one unit which prevents shutdown is passive skills and even artifacts basically if this unit takes a turn game over there's nothing that can be done to fight that this is a really bad sign for a game that purely relies on pvp epic 7 has so many op units but they have counter units that can fight them but this one currently has no counter play in the game all right so apparently she's uh known to be the pvp killer it seems like seems like everybody is uh you know next vendor they will release a character that counters her keep the money train going i'm guessing so eh? that will make a lot of sense right release her first release a character that counters her later on so hopefully you make money from that this is how pvp gacha is right generally uh it is what it is lua is still more broken i have no idea right uh, like i said i'm not like an epic 7 expert uh did lua get any backlash though when it first came out uh, for the first part i think they refer to lua and she for one is almost always banned despite being a non-limited rgb unit so why did lua not not receive any controversy then when she first came out because i never hear any drama when lua first came out but this character right now has drama you know so it's like is it because um it came out of nowhere because this is what people say right it's out of nowhere they haven't showed the unique key until her banner is up so it could be because of that um lua is countered by rework of Elias and more artifact okay lua this but yeah that's pretty much the gist of it right uh i feel bad for you know for the uh pvp -ers. This is why like uh, a lot of gacha PvP is like it's quite rough, right? Sometimes characters or developers will always uh, create like a more broken character. And that's how, based on what I see, PvP gacha will always be like that, right? Thoughts for SG or Narkul and similar units? <coughs> Wait, what does it mean SG? Small gate, is it? Epic 7 is cooking something. Okay, let's see. Huh. I've taken some time, I need to give uh, some thoughts. Obviously, I think this unit is not okay, but let me try to show you. Okay, basically, he's explaining in an essay. Okay. Essay. I, I see some Lua being written there. Ooh, lots of essay. The worst part is that showing after showing willingness to nerf overpower units, what makes Lua and Mang different? Why are you shoving an unfun version of the game down everyone's throats? Why do you want units that prevent people from playing the game to be so dominant? Keep in mind that these are the type of units that push a major power creep into the game. After this, any unit that doesn't full strip, cooldown reset, and you know ER isn't worth playing. Wow. Alright. Yep. People are not happy for sure. Uh, you can see. I'm just annoyed. Okay. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of a lot of complaints. But you know what? I think uh people are eventually people are gonna forget, right? The drama is just going to be for today anyways. I think it's just going to be for the time being, right? But yeah, I do see some some essays here and there. Definitely. A Narkwal in a nutshell. Hey, that's the Epic 7 drama. The latest one featuring this new character. She's pretty though. I'll give her that. 